Hey guys, how we doing? Welcome to another buzzing walkabout and also it's going to be a ride about. And no, I'm not going to put my helmet back on because my tin lid got so much abuse in my last video. I got comments saying uh, I look like someone had dad's army, the Gestapo. I mean, it's all going on like, it's just a tin lid, guys, you know what I mean? But anyway, not to worry. I thought the comments were hilarious. There was one guy, I can't think of your name now, he, he said to me, my girlfriend, or his girlfriend, his missus, walk, walked into the room just as they saw my tin lid and they both like spilt their tea everywhere laughing because they said it looked ridiculous. But anyway, <laughs> never a dull moment. Right, so, I uh, hope you enjoyed the recent nighttime walkabouts we did. They were good fun, uh, lots of uh, enjoyment there. What I'm now is I'm in Naklua. Now, if you remember when I've done my ride arounds, my walkabouts, I've always said to you, when you get to the end of second road, when you get to the end of third road, basically you're gonna come to the Dolphin Roundabout. And uh, I've always made mention you can head up into Naklua. Now Naklua, if I'm being honest with you, is probably not the top of most people's destinations. Um, having said that, it's a really nice area, which I'm gonna show you. I've got a gem up my sleeve, I've got to show you this one in a bit. And uh, if you didn't know about this place, trust me, you'll be getting on that Bolt taxi and you'll be going there 100%. You'll be so glad you did, but I'll show you that in a little bit. So, what I want to do is spin the camera around, give you some bearings, you can see the uh, Dolphin Roundabout. I'm going to do a bit of a walk around first, then I'm going to jump on my motorbike, put my bin lid on. Uh, we're going to go up as far as Soy 18. We're going to go all the way up to Soy 18. We're going to turn left, go down and see my friend, or oh, he won't be there, he's working, but Michael has got the Blue Marlin Bar. Great guy, lovely guy, great bar as well, really nice. And then I'm going to show you the beach, and then I'm going to show you a little gem that, trust me, it's on the radar and it needs to be. All right, let's spin the camera around. So, Dolphin Roundabout, there it is in all its glory. And if you go straight through the roundabout, as you're looking at it now, that takes you down to Beach Road. And you see where the cars here are going to our left. That will take you up to the junction of Third Road and uh, Second Road, etc. So you can uh, get your bearings. You see the, the BART bus coming over there from the far side. He's coming from Second Road and where the cars are going now, they're going up uh, towards Third Road. So, where are we? We're in Naklua. And uh, there's a mixture here. There's like bars, restaurants, uh, massage places, shops, there's so much going on. But what I do want to show you, those of you who like your, uh, like your bread, let's just nip across the road here. Have a look at this place. And uh, this is relatively new to me. I don't know it's new to the area, but it's new to me. One of the things that I struggle with out here, and I don't know if you guys find it the same, but when you go into like 7-Eleven, the bread there is awful, in my opinion, it's not what I like. So when you see places like this, here you go, look at these. Now that is what you call bread. Oh, looking at that, all I can think about is uh, bacon, cheese. Oh, look at these, look. Oh, look at these. Really, all day breakfast. And here's your breads here, see, look. You've got comfort bread, multi-grain bread. There's a lot of bread there. And uh, their price of their breakfast looks pretty good as well, to be honest. You can even have, what's that? Oh, it's healthy, and no, we don't do healthy. Uh, anyway, there's lots of bread in there, lots of different dishes, but yeah, look at this, looks lovely. So there you are, if you want a, if you want a slice of bread, well, you know where to go. And so across the road there, you can see there's a few bars. There's a dude there with a six pack uh, T-shirt, I think he wishes. And uh, we're gonna go back across there, we'll go over to that side. Be careful of the road. Mail come out. Let's head over there. So when the cars flash their four waves at you, what they're doing is they're saying that you can go. So we're going to head up there. We'll have a walk up there. How you doing, boss? You okay? Do you? Oh, it's good to meet you. I'm filming right now, so I want to. I wanted a physique like that years ago. <laughs> have a great day, guys. That's nice to see these guys. They're out there enjoying themselves. Incidentally, you know, out here, look above. Look, see there. There's that humongous place. And we've also got, uh, I think it's called the Centara, just over here. Let me get past these uh, pylons and stuff. Look at that. Now that's worth a few quid, isn't it? Look at that. And uh, as I say, you know, there's quite a lot of development going on up here. But of an evening, if you come up here, I'll walk up to the bar complex, then we go back, jump on my bike, and we'll have a little whiz around. Um, but you know, back in the day, you come up here, it was good, it was good. Good selection of bars, good selection of girls, great selection of restaurants, all that kind of stuff that you, you know, you'd be looking for. 
there really is a good uh, a good amount available so i'll tell you what we'll do rather than me walk away from the bike oh look now that's a shame there's me saying to you about a good selection of bars and they're all boarded up wow you can still see the signs there look bully bar where it says drens bar arctic pool bar and if you head up there wow hang on we got to look at this this is new to me wow look at this now this is a twist and turn they've got that steel fencing running right the way along all these buildings and i was about to say to you if you was to head up here there's a good selection of massage places but clearly that's not part of the plan so uh look at that so i'm guessing that maybe this building here is responsible for buying all these and might knock them down then uh oh wow learn something new every day okay well i can't show you what i wanted to show you up there but never mind you can see here look there's some restaurants here good restaurants there nice cafe bakery and bistro <gasps> wonder what their menu looks like, let's have a look at theirs. Oh, look at that, Collie vs. Mitt Pomfrit. Oh, there you go, look, 175, that's a deal that is. Spaghetti bolognese, oh, some great food there. All right, so, can't believe that, look at that, look, seriously. They've fenced it all in. So they've gotta be knocking it down, haven't they? Gotta be. And uh, it has to be to do with that building, I would guess. So, all right. What I'm going to do then is I'm going to walk back, jump on my bike. Uh, we'll take a little bit of a drive further up and I'll show you somewhere else. I'm in shock now. I don't know what to say, really. That's thrown me. Never expected that. I've sat in this, you see this place here, Bully Bar? That used to be great. Guys, who's been here? Bully Bar in Neklua. And you see there, the Grand Center Point Space Papaya. Look at that. That's a big old boy. I featured that in the video not so long back when I was trying to show about... Uh, developments in Pattaya because so many people are saying oh it's done it's dusted you're going to be like ghost town forever etc etc falling asleep falling asleep so I came out and I showed so much development so many improvements so many businesses that are refurbishing and all that kind of stuff so I brought that to the channel and uh, when I was here at that space it wasn't as, as uh, near completion as it is now I don't know when they're due to finish it. They've still got a huge amount of work to do looking at that. Anyway, anyway, old Germany. Oh, I love my time in Germany. Two years in cellar. Oh, fantastic. And yes, I was a squatty, but I enjoyed every second of it. Well, that was until I found me, uh, me missus when I was in Colchester and she kicked up Mary Ellen. <laughs> I had to leave. Well, I did have, a, I, I had my son at the time. I got her pregnant. Matthew was born and uh, it just went all pear-shaped. Sorry son, I love you really, but it did go pear-shaped. All right, so we're heading back down towards uh, the uh, Dolphin Arena, I jump on my bike and then we're gonna head up and I'll show you some other bits. We'll go up to uh, the Blue Marlin around that area and uh, I've still got my little gem up my sleeve I wanna show you, trust me, you'll be glad you did. All right, back in a second. All right, so we're gonna head up. I'm gonna pull up past those developments. Just getting around here. Okay, let's go. Let's go, baby. Pass me. Thank you very much. Ooh. Beautiful day again. Look at it. Lovely. Hope you're not too cold. <laughs> All right, so we're heading up now. We're going in into Naklua a lot more. Uh, there's that big development I said, and I still can't believe they've closed all those places down. Go on, son. Give it some. Fair play to him. I know how that feels. Monday, Wednesday, Friday, we're out doing our thing. 50, 60 kilometers. What a way to start your day. All right, so here we are. Now, this is another area. Now, there is a big uh, bar complex, which I'll pull over and show you in a second. I know it's empty. I don't really know what they do. They call it the VIP center bar. Uh, here we are, we're up it now. All right, so let me just pull over. Let's find some of the park. Uh, we'll go in here, shall we? Let's go in here. Okay. Happy drinks. Oh, there's a sushi restaurant as well. Okay. Fluffy cafe. I love the name of these places. If you had a cafe, what would you call it, out of interest? If you used to build a cafe, what would you call it? My, my, when I was a kid, when I was living in London, well, I used to bunk off school all the time, couldn't be bothered with it, hated it. And uh, across the A3, we used to have a, a cafe 
which was like, incidentally called the A3 CAF. They used to have a pinball machine. Who remembers pinball machines? I used to love it. I used to play the 8-ball, eight 8-ball eight Deluxe it was called. And uh, he used to play that. Frida, Frida was uh, the, the, uh, the lady who ran it. She was brilliant because her son used to go to the same school as me. And uh, she knew we were bunking off school. And uh, let me just spin this around. And when the teachers used to come across the, uh, we used to have a, uh, a bridge. We used to have a bridge that go over, over the A3. So that she would see the teachers coming and she'd be like, quick, quick. And we'd have to hide in the back. She was brilliant, Frida. What a top lady. She took one for the team. She just cut all the teachers going, where are all the kids? They're not here. And we'd be hiding in the back room. Brilliant. God bless you. God bless you, Frida. So here you go. This is the VIP center bar. Uh, obviously, there's not a lot of VIP going on in here. I don't know what will happen this. Uh, they're very dusty, so I'm guessing nothing really. Such a shame, isn't it? Do you know what I mean? I did a video the other day about uh, being a bar manager. And I got two or three comments, people saying, oh, you've got to be an idiot to open a bar. But those idiots are the people that provide you with the opportunity to come here and interact with the girls and stuff. So, all right, might not be your cup of tea, but they're not an idiot, are they? That's a shame, it's all gone. Nice bar, tart and bull, strip bar. Anyway, going back to my cafe. What would you call your cafe? I don't know what I'd call mine. Probably, uh, I don't know, S sloppy trevs. <laughs> I love it, I love it. Right, let's have a walk over here. Ah, oh, there you go, a German Thai group. So if you want to learn, what's that? Is that oh, it's no, it's not, I thought it was languages. Uh, law and notary office, German Thai group. And there's a, another place here called the Global Solidor Insurance Broker. I know nothing about these, so please don't uh, hold me to it if you do get in contact. Yeah. Right, Soy 18. Now, I've had some memories down here. There's a ladyboy bar in Soy 18, which I'll show you in a minute. And a very good friend of mine, sadly, went back to the UK, a guy called Tony, and his son, Taylor. Taylor, very talented footballer. I believe he's playing down in the south of England now. But, uh, very talented young lad. I used to come over here and we'd spend many a night where I'm going to show you now. And uh, Michael, who's got the Blue Marlin bar, um, he's relocated. So he used to be in this same area. And uh, let's just keep going. Okay. Uh, in terms of getting here, you get a bolt taxi. A uh, bolt taxi from the center of Soy Bacal up here, probably 50 bar, I would guess, at, at a push. Um, but it's worth coming up, you know, just for one evening, having an explore around the area. Certainly in the daytime, when I show you this bad boy, I'm going to show you in a minute, my little gem up your sleeve. Uh, what I will say is, when you go to this place, you will definitely be back time and time again. But you can see here, you know, still a few bars on the left. Uh, the old TT currency exchange. What's the rate today? US dollar is, oh bloody, I can't say. Oh yes, I can, hang on. Hang on, there you go. It's uh, US dollar 32.78. Euro 37, GBP 44.23, it's gone down a little bit. Australian dollar 23.3. So uh, there's your current rates. Oh, I nearly run you over. Sorry, sweat up. Think about a run over. That wouldn't have been too good for her day. Uh, the Drum and Monkey, now this place has got a good name for itself. Drum and Monkey, very popular. And uh, over there, if you like your coffee, Bon Cafe. Bon Cafe. So we're up here at Soy 18. Now, to be fair, if you carried on, you would end up down towards the turning for the Sanctuary of Truth, which I have to say, uh, if you do come here and you've never been to the Sanctuary of Truth, pop down there, guys, it really is worth it. And if you keep going all the way down, eventually come down to the seafood market. Now, if you're here long term, you're staying in a condo, uh, you've got the facilities to cook and you like your seafood, go down to the seafood market. It really is amazing. Um, I, may, I may cover that one day, uh, but just, uh, just have a look. Just type in Google, Naklua, N-A-K-L-U-A, Naklua uh, Seafood Market. You will be amazed. It's fantastic. And I admire these, look at these guys, they walk around for hours in this heat. I mean, I'm sat on my motorbike, it's bloody hot, and he's tabbing around. It really is incredible. They work so hard, they really do. Cool, you imagine, if I said that to someone back in England, right, I want you to walk around with that all day and try and sell, so oh, I'm not doing that. How much are you gonna pay me? So, the Blue Marlin Bar. It's uh, this bar here on the left. Here we go. So this is the Blue Marlin in there. And uh, Michael, Michael's a very good friend of mine. 
in there, that's a blue marlin. Come up, say hello to Michael. He's a really, really lovely guy and uh, friendly ladies in there, friendly. It's good, good afternoon, good evening. So go in there and uh, go and say hello to Michael. And Michael, if you're watching this, my friend, I will be able to see you in the not too distant future. Now we've got the Heidelberg restaurant. Heidelberg, I'm guessing uh, that's uh, German food, would that be maybe? Heidelberg? Where did Heidi come from? Was she German? Or was she Swiss? I think she was from Switzerland, was she? I don't know. She weren't from Wandsworth, that much I do know. Now, this complex on the right here, I need to pull over, let this car pass me. Now, you see that bar right in the corner there? Okay, TJ's. That's a Ladyboy bar. And uh, I'm going to spin in there a second, just show you what. Now, I've had great nights in there. There's a couple of pool tables. And uh, trust me, the girls can play pool. Gabby, if you're watching, don't go in there and try and play pool, mate. You will get slaughtered. But this is TJ's bar. TJ's is great fun. Great fun. Oh, hello, somebody come. Well, I think have good morning. Uh, there's, there's TJ's. All right, behave. Come on. And um, in the corner, this is what used to be the Blue Marlin Bar. And uh, there you go, the Blue Marlin Bar. This used to be where Michael was, but he's moved across the road there. And there's a couple of other bars here. But uh, as I say, Jai Yin Yin, stop barking. God dear. Look at that little fella. Go on, son, go sort them out for me. Go on, go on, go, go and give him a dig. Go on, good on you, well done. All right, so we're gonna head down Surrey 18. Uh, we're gonna go to the beach area, I'll show you that, but my little gem is not far away. Oh, oh la, yeah. Right, so, um, in terms of the area, Naklua, so if you come up here, you can enjoy a restaurant, you can enjoy the bars. Uh, you know, there's, there's a fair few girls up here in normal times. Now you see that lady, right? She's just opened the door wide. I was told the other day that there's a new law been passed in England, apparently, that you can't open the door with your right arm, meaning that that's the, the side closest to the door. You have to open it with your inside arm, be it your left arm, to prevent you from opening the door completely wide open. And I don't know how true that is. I'm sure it's, it's true. I mean, you know, my mate's got no reason to lie to me. Um, but that's what I've been told. So you can't open the door now in England with your right arm, because if you do, yeah, look, look, not even looking, look, 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 look. Look at that, didn't even once glance over their right hand side. Not even once. There you go. Don't you just love it? Uh, but yeah, going back to the doors. Um, yeah, you, got, you can't open the door now with your right arm, apparently, in England. That's what I've been told. I'm sure you guys will know more about it. Now, if you went down there, that would take you to the beach, but I'm gonna go down a different road. This is Wongamat Beach. And uh, of course, we have got the famous, this building right in front of me. Uh, this is probably, in my opinion, one of the most prestigious uh, hotels in the whole of the area. Not just here in Nakalur, but all around. Inside, they've got an incredible swimming pool complex. It really is fantastic. Got a beautiful beach. Uh, it's a private area, so if you're not a resident here, uh, you can't go in there. But this is absolutely stunning. It really is. And they've done a lot of work here. They've done a lot of, uh, a lot of improvements. But... I want to show you this one and then we're going to go down to the beach ourselves but look inside there you can see in there it really is worth going i think you can pay a day ticket i believe but uh so what do you have uh so anyway yeah the centara grand mirage uh if you're not sure google it centara grand mirage honestly guys it's a different gravy and steve hammond don't get excited it's not that kind of gravy all right, so I'm going to come up the end of this road. We're going to turn left. Uh, we're going to head down. You've got the Pink Salmon here. That's another very popular restaurant. Great food in there. Nice bar. I want to show you the beach. And the beach is lovely. And uh, once I've shown you the beach, then what we'll do is we're going to go to my little gem that I've tucked up my sleeve. And I've got to say, you're going to love me when I show you it. Okay, let's keep going. Where am I going? Let me think. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, have I missed me turning for the beach? Have I? No. Have I? Oh, I might have done. Um, where's my bearings? Get me out of the glass house. You got sent, uh, yeah, you got North Point and the glass house. No, I think, oh, I might have missed it. Bollocks. Uh, oh, no, I haven't. No, I haven't. No, no. See, I knew where I was going. See, it's not just my bike I lose. The Pullman, now, nah, the Pullman G, right? See this place here? 
Now, when things resume normality, go into the Pullman, get a look on their Facebook page, Pullman G Hotel. Have a look on there. They often have really, really good pool parties. Really good, like as in like, you know, capital R, really good. So check it out, the Pullman G Hotel. And uh, get yourself involved in their pool parties. So and this is the beauty of the Bolt app now. You can literally, um, you can literally uh, get on a Bolt app, 50, 60 bar, job done, nothing. You can get a bar bus. Uh, they're a little bit erratic in terms of their locations and where they pick you up. They will pick you up from Third Road from the Dolphin Roundabout, so you can jump over, but you've got to get to the Dolphin Roundabout. In all honesty, it's much easier just to jump in a Bolt, 50, 60 baht, job done in an air-conditioned car. Okay, so we're going to turn left. I'm enjoying this. I really am. All right, so we're going to head down now. This is the route I want to show you down to the beach. Now, if you haven't been to this beach and you, look, you want a more of a quiet, secluded area i'm about to show you one of the places that i would recommend coming to it really is lovely down there it really is nice all right so you see where we are here the surf and turf and we're going to go straight down the side of this this is where the beach is the entrance to the beach let's go down here and you can see what i mean by being secluded because there's just a handful of bikes here Hardly anybody knows about this, well, until now. So if this is your go-to spot, I've just burst your bubble, I'm sorry. I've, uh, I've exposed you. And if, and if this isn't your go-to spot, it could well be. It could well be. All right, look at that, beautiful view. Beautiful, beautiful view. There we are. All right, I'm gonna park the motorbike. And let's just go, and show, I just wanna show you the beach one second. Uh, let's park it. All right. Oh, it's a bit breezy. It's nice. Right, let's park that there. You stay there. Right, remember where your bike is, Trev. So, in terms of views, how's that? Is that okay? Now, you need to bring your own towel. So, if you are wanting to sit down on the beach, bring, bring a towel, bring your umbrella, whatever you need. But that ain't bad, is it? It's not too shabby. And right in the far, far distance there, that's where the Pattaya sign is. And likewise, if you go up this side, look at that. Now you've got to admit, that ain't bad, is it? That ain't bad. So there you are, guys. There is a nice little secluded beach. And as I say, make sure you bring a, a towel to lay on. There are places, just see up in there on the left-hand side, there are places you can sit, get a drink and stuff like that. But there's no, uh, there's no deck chairs as such. There is further down, but up on this part where I'm stood right now, there isn't. So, uh, there you go, I'll give you one last look. Have a look at that. Absolutely fantastic. Beautiful. And don't worry about that pipe, that's actually a disused submarine. <laughs> oh, where do I get my stupidity from? Sorry, Mum. Right, okay, let's go back. Jump on my bike, and then we're gonna head over to my little gem. It's, it's only around the corner, I'm so excited. I'm gonna stop there and have a drink. Right. Whew. Right, one second, let me get my bike sorted out. All right, so there you go. Hope you like that beach, it's beautiful. And as you can see there, you know, even in busy times, it's very, very empty. I don't know why, for some reason, people either don't know about it or they can't figure out how to get here, etc. But honestly, go there, you'll have a great day. And you won't be pestered by the vendors saying, you want a foot massage and you want to buy some, uh, some stuff that I'm trying to sell, you know, sunglasses and ornaments and all those other things that they pester you with over in uh, in Pattaya and in uh, Jom Tien. So, where are we going? Oh, hang on, that's a bit of a... Hang on, hold on, hold on. Me, me, oh, 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 oh. All right, let me show you this unbelievably great place. And it's not that. Only joking. Right, now, this place, if you come here of an evening around sunset, there are plenty, and I mean plenty. Hello, fellow, where are you going? Oh, okay, you're just gonna pull in front of me. Well, that's very kind of you. Thank you very much for that, well done. Oh, well, there we go. Um, <laughs> never a dull moment, is there? Never a dull moment. So, of an evening, come up here. There are plenty, plenty of freelancers. It's a great vibe, really nice place. Uh, a lot of uh, people 
that know about this place will, will keep it to themselves for obvious reasons that I'm about to show you. I mean, it's mid-afternoon now, so I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna uh, tell you it's gonna be busy. I doubt there'll be hardly anybody there. But if an evening, come up here about five o'clock and uh, trust me, you'll have a great time. I promise you, you'll have a great time. And we're gonna turn left just here and we are going to the famous, well-known Bamboo Beach Bar. And here it is, the Bamboo Beach. This place is up there with one of my favorites. It's tucked out the way, as you can see, not many people know about this place. But when you come here once, you will 100% come back time and time and time again. So I'm gonna walk down there. All it is, is just a beach club. It's just, uh, well, you'll, you'll see in a second. But of an evening, you can easily get 50, 60 freelancers in here, sometimes more. Uh, they play music, there's uh, drink, beers and everything, food, the whole lot. It really is great. And uh, I wanna show you this place. I'm gonna sit down, have a drink, and then we'll finish off my, uh, my video. So you park your bike here if you come on the bike. Like I say, grab taxi, guys. Grab, uh, not grab taxi, sorry, bolt taxi. Bolt taxi all day long. All day long. You've got no excuses, come out here. Have a great evening, watch the sunset, listen to the music, enjoy some beers, sit on the beach, go for a swim. You name it, you can do it. It really is fantastic. So uh, here we are, the Bamboo Beach Club. One of my all-time favorite places, really is. And as I say, of an evening, oh, this place is just quality, quality. Ooh, look at that, we're right on the water's edge here, right on the water's edge. Saudi cup, what cup, Saudi cup, Saudi cup. There you go, look at this, look. Now come on, how cool is this place, look. Beautiful. And uh, it's like your own secluded little beach club. They've even got a pool table. They do food, cold drinks, beers. Let's have a walk down there, I'll go on the beach. And there you can see the look. Now imagine this at five o'clock in the evening with lots of freelancers here, music, it's all going on. All right, so I'm gonna sit at the bar, get myself a drink, and then we'll finish off. One second, back in a minute. All right, so, come on, you gotta admit, that's a decent find, isn't it? That is a decent find. You come down in the evening, five, six o'clock, music, girls, it's just brilliant. Um, I've got the menu here, so I'm gonna show you the menu. Let's just uh, quickly show you this. All right, so the menu here, you can see, you can see this, let's bring it that way. Uh, they do a great selection of food, very reasonably priced. It's not expensive considering the surroundings. Uh, they've got all the cocktails here, different cocktails. I'm hoping you can see this. There's all the cocktails. Thank you, thank you, boss. Come on, cup. Uh, margaritas, pina coladas, Kahluas. Where is it? It's got to be in here, isn't it? Where is it? Hang on. Just for you, Gabby, just for you. Where is it? I can't see the mojito. They've got to have a mojito. Monkey brains, rainbow shot. Oh, my Lord. Where do they get these names from? Old fashioned whiskey, Angostura, brown sugar. Uh, where is it? Rainbow Martini. I can't find, I can't find. Oh, there we are, look at there we are, see? The mojito, look at that, my, my favorite. I can't drink it, I, I pass out, but I love it. But you can see here, like lots of different food. Deep fried fish with garlic. I mean, look at the prices, 150 baht, 100, that's nothing, considering that this is your view. So there's your view, and you're, you're being, and you know, look look here. You can see for yourself, guys, very, very good prices. And those of you that are not into uh, that side of things and want a non-alcoholic drink, there's a large selection of different soft drinks, etc., all here for you. So there you are. And I'm gonna let you see that just another time before I finish off. That, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, is a wrap. All right, so I hope you've enjoyed today. I hope you enjoyed having a look around Nakalua with me. Uh, it's been a bit of a mixed bag, isn't it, really? We've gone from, like, places that are empty looking like they're going to be pulled down any second to this paradise. paradise. What do you call it? Is it called paradiddle? Oh, no, no, paradiddle is a drumming thing. Um, paradisical? What's it when it's, like, really, like, smart and you want to... Oh, I don't know long words, do I? Anyway, you know what I'm saying, it's nice. Uh, but there we go, guys. So hopefully you've enjoyed that, and uh, thank you very much for watching. Guys, I'm going to finish off now. Like always, you know what's coming now. Uh, don't forget, check out our Discord group. Get yourselves on there. There's uh, over 9,500 people on there. That's brilliant, fantastic. It's so much information. Uh, so have a look. There is a link in the description of the video below. Please have a look at that and check out the link and come across and have a look. 
Uh, if you'd like to support the channel, that would be fantastic. There is another link in the description down below. There's a lot of things in this description. Uh, so have a look down there. If you are on Discord, there's also a video down below that tells you how to get the best out of it. And uh, that's about it from me. So if you'd like to support the channel, please take a look at the members area. Uh, be much appreciated. All right, that's it from me, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Please, as always, remember, hit the subscribe button and also the bell icon if you'd like to be notified when I bring out a new video. And guys, wherever you are in the world, stay safe. Thank <laughs> you.